Okay, this one's on the Ream model RGDA that has the HS780 rubber shock control. And this is a diagnosis of control problems. Okay, the next possible scenario we may have is that we'll have a problem with this ignition control. Now, in an earlier video, I told you made sure that thing is grounded, make sure the power coming in is grounded or it will not work and that's true it won't work uh, so once you've made sure of that the way to tell if this control is bad now there's no lights in this control or nothing there's nothing that's going to tell you anything about it so you're going to have to just uh, use your meter and figure it out so uh, let's say nothing at all happens you uh, turn on the you hook up your thermostat hot surface igniter doesn't come on you check the hot surface igniter uh, it's okay uh, it just won't start so the next thing you're going to do is look closer at this control and I'll pull it out and we can take a look okay I've got this control out so maybe you can see it a little better uh, and this screw right here is one of the screws that holds it down on the bracket. There's, a, there's another one over here, but this one's the important one because see that metal band underneath there? Okay, that has to be grounded. If it isn't grounded, the unit will attempt to light, but it won't stay lit. So what I've done is I've taken a wire and run from that same part there, one of the terminals on it, over to a uh, let's see, a ground right here on the burner. So uh, I've got it out and I'm ready to check it. And I'm going to check it with a meter. Okay, if you can see where I've got my connections here, I've got TH right there. That's thermostat, and I've got ground, and I've got my wires hooked to both of those okay you can see the way that's hooked up now I'm gonna go ahead and put my jumper in I'll back up a little bit so you can see the meter a little better and okay now I'm showing 26 volts now if nothing happens the hot surface igniter doesn't come on or any of that sort of stuff then if I've got uh, 24 volts coming to it then I know the control has failed power in no power out gas valve doesn't click open hot surface igniter doesn't come on either one of those then the control has failed like I said there's no license control to tell you anything about it it's just a power in, no power out. And remember, the thermostat is going to put power to TH, uh, and that's going to start the, the uh, sequence. And I've got my meter between the ground and TH, and it should start the sequence. If it does not start the sequence when it's got 24 volts to it, you know, that's after recycling, shutting it off and turning it back on, if it has 24 volts and it does not go through the uh, cycle, the controls failed. So that's the HS780 ignition control. They are a little bit, uh, oh, they're kind of picky. Sometimes, like I said on uh, earlier, the hot surface igniter, if it's not positioned just right, it won't sense flame. Uh, remember, this thing uses the hot surface igniter as the flame rod. It does flame rectification through the flame rod. I don't do that anymore because of so many troubles with it. And the rubber shock control did give quite a lot of trouble uh, sensing flame. So, uh, there are other controls you can use. Honeywell makes one that will replace this thing if you want. It costs a fortune, but uh, it will replace it. Or you can use uh, a rubber shock control. I think they're still available. I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't bought one for quite a while. But uh, 
that's the uh, troubleshoot of the hot surface igniter and the uh, ignition control on the old R Ream Rude RGDA furnace.